kidney stones actually come about from an accumulation of normal waste products like calcium or urine that we all excrete. But most people have chemicals in their urine to help stop the formation of the stones. And stones can be very painful, especially when they get lodged in the kidneys or in the urinary tract. It blocks flow of the urine. You can get infections and whatnot and scarring, and that leads to, to kidney damage. The number one thing that you can do, no matter the type of stone, is to to drink plenty of fluids. I have some sugar here, which represents maybe calcium crystals or uric acid crystals. And if you were just to take in the extra water, you can see how it gets diluted down and dispersed in the water, so there's less chance of them coming together. And that's exactly what happens in the body. So you wanna get in at least two to, uh, two to three liters of fluid every day, preferably water, and even at night. And even if you have to go to the bathroom at night, you should then drink another glass of water so that you don't crystallize at night. No matter what type of stone, it seems that controlling one's weight is also very important. The doctor will be diagnosing exactly what type of stones you have and then tell you whether or not it's worth it to, to eliminate certain foods in your diet.